throwback CFM. A lot of people told me they like the throwback CFM. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of good comments from the CFM now. Boys, as we're moving on to this, the Vikings is in the playoffs. We're going to keep you updated on the draft on this. I did get some comments on the Vikings game. I didn't want to comment on what happened in the Vikings game because I didn't want people to read it before they watched. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and talk about it on my next video. But I did get some comments, and here goes some points. You know, I got we got to do comment review on the last game of our Vikings season. We got to. We got to, boys. We got our boy, Comeback Kid. It's definitely the grind that makes this series entertaining. Some cool stories with Quez, Move Jr., Dotson. Move definitely might need abilities because the red zone outside of Mixon has been hell. I mean, you're not wrong. He's not wrong. That's a good point. My man Schultze, a YouTube legend. This guy's a lord. Dang, shout out to him, bro. Forever. He's been here for a long time. I don't know if it's something you've done before because you showed a draft after this season. We will definitely show the draft. I don't really know. The draft is a long process, boys. Uh, if you guys play CFM, sometimes a draft can take three, four hours. So I'm gonna, it's going to be hard to break it down. It will definitely be live streamed. So if you guys want to watch that, I guess it will come up here in the next couple days or so. Uh, the biggest thing for me, though, is all these crabs being my stream. And I'd be wanting to discuss strategy. So they're going to steal my picks and stuff. So, you know, it's tough. Sucks that you lost, W, but that kid could play. There would be a great game to study all the route concepts. Bung, bung Smuggler. Now, YouTube, would you guys be interested in me in breaking down these games and what I did? I mean, we could do a video on that and what happened and everything, but my man's real YouTube legend, of course. Kyler's been kind of weak. You know, I'm, in order to upgrade players faster in CFM, you have to make sure they're starting on the depth chart, which will... I mean, okay. GG to a promising season. Got to beef up, beef up the pass rush in the offseason. Bro did have all day back there. You know, he really did. I, I As I watched the game back, once we processed the YouTube video, I realized the pass rush difference between me and, and that team was like, was just ridiculous, man. This is like impossible. Now here, this is this, this comment right here is why I wanted to do comment review for that last game is that, do you think the extra pressure you would get from playing nickel isn't worth it? Okay. So let, let me understand. I, let me break this down for you and see if I'm... I have learned, right, especially with bad teams, you know, the only hope I have, I think, is to play two man under. One, you keep the ball in front of you. When I say two man under, I mean man press, multiple deep zones somewhere, you know, whether it's deep two, deep cover three, but keep everything in front of me. And I did in a lot of these games and kind of just hold them in the red zone as best I can. Uh, and the problem is when you're playing two man under now you run into a numbers game It's always a numbers game against man coverage um, One you have to account for the running back You have to have two deep blues somewhere on the field whether it's a third a half You have to have deep blues as you see these receivers are absolutely frying my DBs So you have to have two deep blues you have to have five man covers guys and then you have to use or somebody. That's why dollar is the easiest because you're getting that three-man rush You're definitely sacrificing some pass rush but if I go ahead and put four down linemen, now I'm sitting in who's guarding the running back, right? I have to use the running back's guy. And then if the running back goes out, now I got to go ahead and, and guard him. And now my user's out of the play. So it's a give and take. I decided to go with more coverage. I uh, have a freer user, be more, be able to make different adjustments here and there. But ultimately, man, when you have John Franklin Myers and our boy Dotson fighting, they just didn't get it done on the pass rush. You know, they really didn't. Now, if you guys remember, I did put inside stuff on Derek Brown. I guess as Derek Brown a D tackle instead of having unpredictable and double or nothing. And he didn't fight at all at D tackle. So for me, maybe that was a mistake. I told you guys about inside stuff. It's not that good. But that's why I chose to stay in dollar. Uh, the fumble was unfortunate. Uh, looking back, I mean, we just got to run the ball. I find myself definitely overthinking Madden too much in my entire career. All the plays I make, a lot of mistakes I've made. And everything has have been me just thinking too much. You know, you got first and goal right there. Run the ball, right? I just assumed the run commit there, or at least on the out of out of the first down and second down, no run commit. You know, yeah, I didn't couldn't get any pressure. You're right, but you know, my team isn't designed for that. I was kind of just a bend but don't break defense. So you know, that's all I really had to do. You know, yeah, I know. EA definitely made me fumble. Running back was wide open. Yeah, that was tough. It was tough. It was a tough ending. 
My man Wave Chronicles. Gotta get out of this league and draft a God Squad from scratch. I mean, well, that's the whole point of the content, that it's not a God Squad for me. But my man Wave, this is a lord right here. This guy has good comments all the time. I did, I did sell that by overthinking. I agree with Alan Murphy. We sold. We did. And Wave, not gonna lie, three down linemen, two man under. I mean, he's probably right, but that's all I can really do. I didn't feel like I needed to ever take a chance in this game. If you guys were, I always had the lead in this game. Or, you know, pass. I always had the lead, so I never thought I needed to make it take a chance on defense. You know, it's way easier to play defense when you're winning because, you know, the pressure's on them. But when you're losing, that's when you have to start making taking chances and everything like that. And, uh, you know, I felt like our defense wasn't good, but I didn't think it was terrible. But GG, shout out to Maxi Bron, Tippy, the Lords. This dude Lane right here is a Lord, too. It's thick, ultimate Lord. Dale normally went, he gets first every single time, too. It's a little YouTube check in. All right, but. On to Throwback CFM. We are playing the Green Bay Packers. I believe this is like the Vince Lombardi Packers. So all my old heads, all the throwback guys, this is really throwback. Now, I was thinking it might be Aaron Rodgers, uh, Greg Jennings, and the boys, but this is Bart Starr, Paul Horning. This is bust out. He has three wide receivers. Ron Kramer, tight end. Jim Ringo. Forrest Gregg. I don't know who he has on D. I mean, you can't have corners in 1950, right? I lied. Herb Adderley. Never mind. He has absolute lords at corner in 1950. Herb Adderley. Wow. How the hell do I know this name so well? I don't know, but he goes short route knockout. Tough. And then this guy, something wood. He has two knockouts. All right. All right. Nice. Nice. But we have T.O. So. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. My man, Midwest Savior. Speaking of a YouTube lord, that's one of them in the building, boys. In the building. He kicked it out of bounds right away. Nervous, maybe. The audible from two men under the DB fire. That's tough. Chad Lewis, dude. Like I swear to God, man. Like I, like I, I be feeling like I'm under pressure from these three man rushes. Ain't no way that guy, that white guy, caught me, man. Hell of a dot, baby. Hell of a dot. I will tell you, man, as much as, like, CFM is cool because, and, and, and my man Wave Chronicle said this in the YouTube comments. He said, well, CFM is cool because not everybody, it's not everybody has an ability, you know? Like, you know, he picked, he has, like, three guys with man abilities. So when he plays zone like that, you know, you're not going to have crazy good zone coverage right there. You're not. Like with the run. Do I want to put one of my good corners on a tight end or just bag the other guys? Lido, are you trolling? Oh yeah, Trotter, Lito bad. I need you here, Curse. I need you here. Oh my God, man! Jesus Christ, dude. I swear to God, Trips tight end is just so body, man. Jesus Christ. I might put somebody good on it. I might put Dawkins on the tight end here. Yeah, I think we gotta do it. Oh, fumble. Come on, man. It just can't be got six yards. Come on. Go get him, boys. I mean, these dudes are strapped till Tuesday, dude. Yeah, just a little bit of password. Like, people always assume, like, I, I want, like, sheds and like, nah, bro, I just want... 
A little bit of pass rush. All right, both as good receivers are on this side. There's just no way, Trotter, that you don't play that shit, man. Like, that's just dog shit. Like, it's right at your face. You could have just, like, you could have just, like, blew. And it would have fell down. But you just, you just took it. You just took this shit, like, uh. And it just catch f***ing everything, man. Look at Dawkins. Dawkins and our boy Simino. Mark Simino with a showing. Let's get it. Here we go, man. We're going to do the same route combo here. I almost want to put that yellow zone on 10 here. I want you right at the goal line here, kid. Barnes got nobody. He might just chuck the Barnes here. I mean, Lord, man. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. He changed up. He changed up. W, do you put CFM on YouTube? Jay Smooth. Somebody get that guy a god roadmap. What? Oh, yeah. It's like a bannable question. Let's go, Freddy? We just get disengaged up there. I, dude, I honestly, like, I'm going to be so happy. Like, this sh that happens to me we get randomly disengaged by a d tackle ea thank you man so fun playing your piece of shit every night dude i love it i love it they should honestly pay me more for playing your dog shit every single night they should dude that dude actually has linebackers in the game too he's got ray nitschke in the game like bro for, for what like why would you have ray nitschke in the game I honestly should throw right at him, boys. I mean, that's sad, but I should throw right at him. T.O. 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 Season stats. I don't really be farming, dude. I really don't. Some of these dudes are like farm experts. To be truthful with you guys, I really only like playing Viking CFM. Because it's hard as sh It's like no money spent. I still got Dexter win out here. Good old Dexter. Pick up. This dude's gonna throw a pick. Told you. Lurky? Oh, you got no jukes, Michael Lewis. Now, to the dudes in the chat, I definitely want the four man rush right there. And it was a lot better pressure, but like I said, I had to guard the running back. He just made a bad read. T.O. 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 Like, these teams are just... When I'm playing people that aren't, that like, aren't like, all world with these teams, I just, like... I, not that these dudes are, like, bad, but it's just this team is too... Like, people that aren't even on... People that aren't on my level have no shot. I'm not clicking on nobody. Good work, boys. So, like, you have... When you don't have a... I can't believe you had... Once another guy hasn't switched his damn edge threat. I mean, Dawkins, what are we doing here? Like, what are we doing? Are we really getting beat by this wheel route right now? There you go, Dawkins. I don't know why he didn't run the wheel route again. Oh, no way. We like, That was like the worst pitch ever. I thought maybe it'd be Aaron. But, I mean, this team won. This was like, like the Lombardi Packers were some of the best teams ever, you know? Just because you little snotty-nosed kids know Aaron Rodgers and Greg Jennings and shit. You got to pay homage to one of the greatest errors of football, Vince Lombardi, you know? He's going to throw it. I knew it. <laughs> there you go, Hugh Douglas. Let's go, man. God damn it, dude. Except you have to run play action to stop edge threat. What's going on with golden tickets? I have two. Do you want one? I'm bad at Warzone. Do you want do you want a golden ticket? I got one for you. You have to make it eagle though. Okay, that's my only stipulation. 
Oh my god, Quentin Michael would be the one, right? T.O. just frying. Back to DB Fire, hey kid, huh? Oh, Westbrook, you gotta get out of there, dude. Ain't nothing but a thing for you. Look at Chad! <laughs> oh, I thought that spin move would look good. I don't know why, but... Oh, I just can't... Bro, I couldn't get to the left because there was bodies on the ground, dude. There was bodies that I could not get over, dude. Come on, Runyon. It's no way you like let that go down, man. Chad Lewis. <sighs> Donnie? Let's go, Donnie. So he has to run play action because of the edge threat and because he has to run play action he can't he got to block his running back essentially so i can you so this goes back to the numbers i talked about with a four-man rush as opposed to a three-man rush right so if i'm forcing him to block his running back then i get that extra pass rusher so it's like you know i mean cfm boys the boys getting after look at the boys honestly here's a glitch too right you can put your safety on the running back like if you don't know whether he's going to put block or not hey, oh he switched his lineman there because if he blocks the running back the safety will go into a deep blue you know with otherwise the, the linebacker will go into a spy so if you watch the watch the ah uh, he's in a spy never mind I'm a f liar Dawkins come on man pick artist how we get hit sticked yeah we're going over the top on his bum that's free it's to baby come on now. I mean, I just try to press him a little bit, but I just like the way he's like there is like, let me try dollar and what happens with my safety. I swear to God, one of these formations, like when you man up the running back with the safety, like he turns into a deep blue. I just actually open the clock, dude. God damn. Oh, Scott, let's go, baby. Oh, we gotta get through there, dude. Oh my god. T.O. 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 Bro, T.O. better be on a Pro Bowl team. I'll tell you that. I don't. I. I would bet you T.O. is probably not even top ten receiver in the league. Yeah, you know, maybe the 1950s and 1960s Green Bay Packers aren't the ones you want in the modern day NFL. If I played this guy with the Vikings team, you know, he might go crazy. Hit him. FYI, this is like the commissioner of the league too, boys. He's like the commissioner. It's always the plebes that want me to play mutt. Just tell me you guys suck and need help, dude. I'll help you right now. I'm in a good mood. What ability should I use? Not what you're using right now. How about that? Mm. There's no way you milked the clock and then got one playoff. Like, there's no way your sucking ass did that. There is no way in hell you just did that to me. You know why I don't like that, boys? You know why I don't like that? Because most of these CFM guys would have called timeout, right, to try to get the ball back. No, f*** that. This guy sucks. I'm up, I'm up by 60 points. I want another touchdown, right? That's how CFM's played. Call timeout. 
go to score, right? I'm like, I need more, I need more. It's a blowout, right? And I didn't do that. I took my win. I'm not gonna call timeouts. I don't need to just see what I'm saying. I don't need to, I don't need to get more. I'm cool with what I had. I was cool 42 to 3. He ran the clock out, chewed the clock, but no, with one second left, he snaps the ball and chucks it while I'm sitting here talking in the chat. That was absolute crab behavior, dude. Can't lie. That was a coward ass move. And that's why you're the commissioner, you know? Tell my man TO 175 four touchdowns. No, but I I don't think y'all understand that I I gave up. I didn't want to score anymore. Like I didn't want to score anymore. I didn't want to rub I didn't want to blow him out anymore. Like I was cool. TO upgrade speed. Catching traffic, short route. Okay. 98 overall TO. League stats and awards. Um, awards? We got awards yet? Donovan McNabb, second in MVP. Love to see that, huh? Offensive player of the year. Is this what this is? T.O. Defensive player of the year, Javon Curse. Okay. Offensive rookie of the year. I don't have any of them guys. That's tough. Defensive rookie of the year. I don't have any of those guys. Best quarterback, McNabb. Best running back, not Westbrook. T.O. Best old line. Can't get one of my Eagles in here. Best D-line, Javon Curse. Best linebacker, Trotter. The best DB. Where my boys at? Michael Lewis is the best DB? McNabb has 42 touchdowns and six interceptions. It's a pretty good rating. 12 for Michael Vick. I don't know who has that team. I don't know. Pretty good rating for him. Joe Montana has 25 picks. That's not ideal. Jets, Joe Namath. Lions, Rodney Pete. Not bad. 20, 32 and seven. Bart Starr, who we just played, 24 interceptions. That's tough. Nine picks for Cam Newton. Not bad. Wow, the Rams have topped us all with 38 touchdowns and 38 picks. That guy lets it fly. And Saint has 43 and 4, which is cracked. So Saint, Saint is really good.